Hi everybody, it's that time again for my video blog. So I've been looking at my old video blogs and I've realized something. I need some structure. So I'll be breaking my video blog down into three parts. Part number one, what I'm reading this week. So I went and picked up the new trade of The Flash from the new DC52 launch. Uh, I just started reading it. I'm about halfway through. I'm really enjoying it. I love the way that they're writing The Flash. It's fantastic so far. I would definitely suggest picking it up. I'm only halfway through reading it, so that's definitely saying something. Next up, I've been reading Tilting at Windmills, a guide towards successful and ethical comic retailing. If you're ever thinking about working at or owning your own comic book store, I would definitely suggest picking this up. This was given to me by the owner of a comic book store in Sudbury when I was there in the summer visiting. He gave me this one and volume number two. Really fantastic. It's a great guideline. It's a bit old, but still definitely worth picking up. Now for the second part of my blog. Part number two news in the comic industry. So everyone's up in arms right now about the Tony Harris Facebook comment. If you haven't had a chance to check it out, I definitely would. Uh, he makes some kind of opinionated comments on women being nerds and cosplayers. Uh, definitely if you check it out, make sure you scroll down and check out a lot of the comments and then Google a couple uh, articles that people have written. I found a lot of female writers are tackling the subject, giving their opinions on it. I'd love to hear a man's opinion. Not somebody who's negative necessarily, but somebody who's kind of in the middle from an outside perspective who's uh, maybe not as feminist as a lot of women writers are, who's experienced in the industry and has been at Comic-Cons and, and has been in the place of Tony Harris and really hear their opinion. Is he being pig-headed or does he have a kind of right or does he have a truth in what he's saying? I would love to hear both sides. Next up in comic book industry news, well, at least in the Toronto scene, Paradise Comics just yesterday had their Heroes Initiative event. This event raises money for people in the comic industry in need. In addition, Silver Snail had a comic book signing with Curtis Weebly. I think I'm saying his last name right. And I went to a comic book launch for a book called Foreign Matter. So there's definitely a lot of stuff happening, at least in Toronto this week, in the comic book industry. Now for the last part of my video blog my favorite things. So I just thought I would share a couple of the things that I find during the weeks that I think are interesting and nerdy that you might like as well. First up, I just ordered a dress from this amazing site called Black Milk Clothing. Black Milk Clothing has all different kinds of clothing that are nerdy related. I mean, some aren't, but some of them are. They have a whole new Star Wars line where you can buy a pair of tights that has 3CPO on one leg and R2D2 on the other. I personally just bought a comic book dress and I'm super excited for it to come in the mail. And I got free international shipping, so I was even more excited to not pay any more money. They're a little pricey, but they're definitely worth it because they're original and they're nerdy and I absolutely love them. Next up, my other favorite nerdy thing of this week is Pinterest. I know a lot of men I think are tuning out right now. Um, a lot of people have been obsessed with Pinterest for a long time, especially women, but there's a geek section geek section where they have awesome stuff like this Pac-Man cake and Dalek pictures and random information and Star Wars photos. It's fantastic and I can literally spend hours on it and it's dangerous and somebody needs to get me away from it right now. So those were the three new sections of my blog. Let me know how this works. If you like it, if you don't, why. I love to hear people's opinions on it. I'm definitely flexible and uh, I want to make you guys happy. So let me know. I hope you guys check out all my favorite things and the things that I'm reading and what's happening in comic book news this week. And I hope you have a great week. Thanks. Bye.